This presidential election year, you've probably heard about deep fake videos on the internet. Those videos are manipulated to make it look like someone said or did something they really didn't. Kara Seven's DD Sun shows us some of the most disturbing examples and looks into their potential to disrupt our democracy. Good evening, my fellow Americans. This is President Richard Nixon announcing to the country the Apollo 11 crew never made it home from the moon. The problem, it's a speech he never delivered. The men who went to the moon to explore in peace. Words he never spoke. Will stay on the moon to rest in peace. It was created at MIT's Center for Advanced Virtuality, and it's called a deep fake. A deep fake is a, a new family of technology that allows um, individuals to take videos essentially putting words in people's mouth that they may have never said. Kind of scary to think about. It is scary to think about. It's technology that has experts in the field worried. And in fact, the, that the deep fake technology could and be used to disrupt our 2020 elections. Ways of sort of uh, manipulating words that, you know, politicians would say before an election and, and we'll likely see some of those in our election. Jevin West is the director for the University of Washington Center for an Informed Public. He researches and even creates deep fakes. We created this game to bring public attention to this deep fake technology. This is called Which Face is Real? One of these two people doesn't exist, just built with lines of code. That we created within seconds with algorithms. Didi, why don't we play the game? The so which one is real? Mm, this one. This one's real, okay. So let's see if you're correct. You are, you are <laughs> good was, at this. Hard, but take a look at this one. Can you spot which face is fake? This one's real? You are incorrect. The only one you've right. missed so far. One more example. This video of President Obama that went viral. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. It's actually voice actor Jordan Peele. This is a dangerous time. You have to question reality, I know. But it took months for experts to painstakingly create these videos. Could deepfakes impact this election cycle? How close are we to that point? This year, 2020, is, is a year in which we have the technology to confuse a lot of the public, including even people like me who look at these kinds of things all the time, who study them. To show you how accessible similar technology is, check out this app you can download for free. It's called DoobliCat, and in seconds, you snap a photo, then it scans your face. After that, you pick which meme or celebrity you want. Now, instead of Jada De Laurentiis on the red carpet, it's me. Sort of. You can tell I've been mashed on there, but... The technology is getting better and better, and it won't be long before even the experts will have a hard time determining whether it's a deep fake. And it's not just deep fakes. Existing technology that's been around for decades can easily be used to manipulate video and information. For example, do I have a twin? Or how many DDs are there? A real example of using standard tech to spread misinformation, this doctored footage of Nancy Pelosi last year. And then he had a, a press conference in the Rose Garden. Sound funny? It was simply slowed down. It sort of looked like she was slurring and, you know, and it, it didn't provide a good impression of, of Nancy Pelosi. Here's the real version. And then he had a, a press conference in the Rose Garden. From fake articles to fake photos and now fake videos, it's a tough time for consumers to filter all that out and find the truth. We live in this world of misinformation and now this technology is making it even worse. The goal for West and the Center for an Informed Public, well, it's right there in the name. For every human being. Making sure you're aware of what's out there. I don't think we're going to be able to go back to a world where deep technology doesn't exist. The more that the public can know that this exists, that's the best thing I think we can do defensively right now. Good night. In Seattle, DD Sun, Cairo 7 News. Well, that you, Doug Professor, is working with our state legislature on a law that would prohibit creating deep fake videos of politicians 60 days before an election. California passed a similar law last year. But experts say, most importantly, if you see or you read something that really makes you mad or that's really shocking, you should question it and check what source it's actually coming from.